What is up, you guys? We are here with Morgan and Ashlyn from the Steel City Music Showcase. Hey. Hey. My name is Deadhand. I'm with my co-host, Derek. What's up, guys? How's it going? What is up, you guys? How's What's everything? Up? Everything's perfect over here. Pretty good. No complaints. <laughs> no, no complaints. I like it. Um, how, what'd you guys do today before we got into this uh, awesome podcast? Shout out Feeling Iron. David took it for putting this together. How was y'all's day? Ladies first. Uh, my day was pretty good. I went to work. And what I do is I work um, with my parents. We flip houses. Nice. So we sanded walls all morning. And then we textured them and primed them. And that was my day. Thank went nice. home. <laughs> I went to therapy and, um, yeah, ordered Chinese food. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I, I was just singing to myself <laughs> before I got here, debating on if I was going to come because it's like so far out. <laughs> you, you did a great job. You made it. I did not expect yeah. it to be far out. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it is. When, when you're singing to yourself, where are you singing to yourself? Like it's just in the corner of the room? All around my house, my neighbors probably just hate me. Um, no, not possible. No? No. No, they don't hate me. Yeah. They did come and support me at my last show, though, so all my neighbors were there. I live in, like, this house that was converted into different units, so they all popped up and showed. I was like, hey, I was like, y'all don't hear me singing through the walls? I'm like, we do, but we're here. Right. So, <laughs> so it's cool. It was cool. It. It's a free concert every night. Yeah. Like in the that. morning, 9 o'clock. Oh. I'm up. Every day? Every day. Oh, man. I'd probably call the housing authority on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I like that. And you said that you build houses. Yeah. So we we take houses that are old or run down and we just remodel them. Flip yeah. them. Yeah. Flip them. Yeah. Does it have a Does it have a, a business name? Is it like a uh, construction? Yeah. My my dad's real estate company is called the Aspen Real Estate Solutions. That was very close. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you sing while you work? Not often, no. No, kind of she's not up. You know, yeah, <laughs> gotta stay on task. <laughs> That's totally fair. Have you heard her sing before? I don't know that I've heard you sing before. Oh, she's amazing. I'm she's excited so for amazing. the showcase. Oh. Can we get Yay. a little taste? Can we? Do you know Creed? Yeah. Do you know any no, Creed? You can't get a taste. Oh. It's a surprise. Yeah. Whoa. You gotta come to wow. the showcase. You have to come to the showcase. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, she's amazing. I'm like, excited for yeah. it. I want to. I want to collab. I think I've actually <laughs> yeah. seen you at church. At Fellowship Probably. of the Rockies. I believe you. I feel like a lot of people are like, hey, I saw you. And I wish I saw them all the time, but no one ever comes and talks to me. <laughs> not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. <laughs> I just mean that. Let's, let's think of a sentence. It's like, there's that girl again. Walk the yeah, other way. I just feel like, <laughs> some, uh, yeah. I just feel like I don't, they think I'm too busy for them. Mm. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> but... Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like a different environment, you know. You don't want to go have a conversation in the middle of a a church sermon, <laughs> right? You know, I I understand. That's an, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Did you grow up singing in church then? Mm -hmm. So I did both too. my parents, you did too. Both of you were singing. singing. They were worship leaders growing up, so okay. I've always been around it, and both sides of my families, like my mom's side and my dad's side, both are musically talented, and so. It's kind of always been in my life. It's been part of it. Mm -hmm. And what about for you, Morgan? Well, I grew up going to um, Prince of Peace Church of God in Christ, and uh, we would sing every Sunday. And um, I never had a solo, but um, <laughs> I did. Oh. <laughs> I was told to sing solo that they couldn't hear me because I couldn't find the keys and stuff like that. But I did sing. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty. How was, young were you? Ever since I was little. Little. So, yeah. yeah. How old are you? Um, 33. How old are you? I'm 22. <laughs> Got like 11 years on her. Yep. Yeah. Quick math. Good math. Quick <laughs> math. So um, when did you guys start uh, um, taking music more seriously? Okay. Um, I've always took music seriously, but when it started to like sink in, like this is what I want to do, it's probably when I moved to Pueblo. Mm -hmm. Like after getting out of the state hospital and rebuilding my life, I was like... I have to do this is how I express myself. This is what I'm going to give. And then I met Tyler. Um, and it's been a wrap ever since then. Like he shot my first music video that I ever recorded. Um, Love me, leave me. And um, it's been it's been a blessing. I've met so many cool people. And yeah, mm -hmm. I've been just like greeted with open arms in Pueblo. So mm -hmm. 
I, I really appreciate the community here and I'm really excited to be part of the showcase. So can I pay you a compliment? Mm -hmm. Um, in my time knowing you, even just being in the room with your music, you your confidence has grown. Oh, thank you. And you, you can hear it, and it's the coolest thing compared to those couple of years ago. So you're you're on a journey. Yeah, I am. Like I don't even care if I'll be singing, and I, that ugly face comes up, and I try to hit that note. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to push it out. So. <laughs> when did you start taking music seriously? Um, probably when uh in the middle of COVID. Ooh. Um. We weren't doing a lot and Jared just wanted to film. My brother Jared was like, let's record stuff. Let's do things. And so he's like, we're going to record your songs. And I was like, okay. No pressure. I'm scared. Um, but I just, I found a new love for it. And I realized that it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I definitely would not have pursued it if it hadn't been Jared just pushing, pushing me to and encouraging me to. So, yeah. yeah, I love that. And both of y'all have done film festivals now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So do you have any thoughts on like music and film and or your experience doing that? Because especially you just wrote a little snippet for a film in what, a couple hours? Right. Hey. I was not planning to do that for sure. Yeah. Um, but we were looking at the rough cut, cut of the film and we realized like it just needed something else. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't figure it out. And so we were going to end the film with a voicemail of a sort. And we were like, well, if we wanted to add some type of like lightheartedness to it, yeah. why don't we try to make a jingle type thing? And I was like, okay. So then as I, so then when I drove back to Pueblo the whole time I was going home, I was like, what could this jingle be? Mm -hmm. What could I do? So we stayed up pretty late and figured it out, but it was just, so fun to be goofy and just to write music to write music so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what year did you participate i did the first year i believe it was the first film fest that they had and i wrote a song i think i wrote a song called keep up and it was nominated but it didn't win so <laughs> Always overlooked. No solo, no win there. No win there. Wow. But you know, my made it moment is there. my made it moment is gonna be like when I get an award that like is like this is for your music. I don't even care if it's from like a middle school. I'm like the kids are like here we made it. We made this for you. That's gonna be my made it moment. Like yes. <laughs> some kind of like like there you go. This is for your music, Morgan. And I'm like wow. Well, oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be really cool. I made it. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that pressure of creating and it's like a time frame like that? Because that's oh. that's totally different. I can write. Give me something to write. I'll write it real quick. You're if good. you give me a beat and then I'm I'm on there. It might not sound good, but <laughs> but I'll write it. <laughs> so, write words on the page. Yeah. yeah. So I, I love I love creating. I love the whole process of expressing myself through my music and like my um, the situations I've been through. I always pull from there. And write from experience. So, yeah, I love it's it. pretty fun. Definitely. Um, so you're pretty quick with your with your writing, is what you're saying. Um, how many songs do you have done and out right now? Um, I have an album coming out actually yeah. on March eighth, which is Friday. What? Um, it's called "The Time Is Now." It's been a long time coming with that album. I I wrote those songs during the process when I lost my brother. So it has a lot of like rawness and like a different side of me than like my um, other albums that I put out, which are kind of fun and kind of motivational. This is kind of like, oh, this is Morgan, like revamping himself. Yeah, so I hope you guys listen. Um, yeah, and um, I don't know, I worked with our brother with some videos. I worked with Tyler with some videos and uh, I'm really just excited about it, so. Hmm. And you've been playing a lot more shows lately too, because you just played it analog. Yeah, I did that that one show just to get back into the scene. You know what I mean? And um, people came out and supported. It was really really cool. Like my support system has just gone so high up, and it, and I I just I can't say anything else but like thank you Pueblo for all the support and all the love. So yeah, it makes me feel good. Is yeah. there anything is there anything in Pueblo that you like don't like or like that you're scared of? I'm scared of driving home tonight. <laughs> that is what I'm scared of because I'm out in the county and I, I've never really drove to the county before, let alone at nighttime. It could be an adventure. Yeah, it's going to be an adventure because I'm going to be singing the whole time. Um, 
um, is going to be giving um, gospel vibes in the car. <laughs> you should just film yourself doing that. That could be a whole short film. Um, yeah. You but pulling? No, unfortunately I not. I wish, I wish. But um, what I don't like about Pueblo is what people say about Pueblo. Mm. You know what I mean? Like mm. some of the people that are from here, they really talk down about it. And some of the people that are not from here, they say stuff about it. But you need to come and experience it yourself. You know what I mean? And see what you can do because it's what you make it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is what you make it. You both live here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were in Denver no. too. Still in Pueblo, Pueblo West actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you also afraid of driving in the dark? Not necessarily. <laughs> I like driving in general. I think... If you think about anything too hard, it gets scary. <laughs> so I just try not to think about it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is a perfect scene. Like, this is a perfect scene for a murder to happen. <laughs> when no. I'm like driving down a dirt road, I'm like, but we're not going to think about that. <laughs> then we, like, right. come back. I was like, just Jeepers Creepers. Like, I ain't going to do that. No. If you if you were to list your like top three fears. Ooh. Top what, three. Yeah. Fears. What are you? What are your top three fears? Um, like, heights. He is wild. Okay. Scared of heights. I used to hikes be... or heights. 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 Tall. Tall. Okay. I heights. Said, yeah. tall, hikes. tall. I'm a. I'm afraid of dark water. So, oh, that's like, a real swimming, yeah. and it's dark. Oh, that's terrifying. Mm -mm. I used to be afraid of bunk beds because mm. I like watched this, off the side. Well, of it. I watched the the show. It was like Step a thousand brothers. worst ways to die. Um, and one of one of the the episodes was. This bunk bed fell on top of this guy and Ooh, he died goodness. from the impact. Oh my god. And so my whole childhood I was like, I I don't want to be on the bunk bed because I don't want to be on the top because if I fall on them, I'm gonna kill someone. Oh. But if I'm on the bottom, I'm gonna <laughs> die just as bad. And so for a very long time that was Whoa. terrifying for me. What about you? My top three. My top three fears probably heights is one. Um and then that didn't happen until I got older. I don't know why. I like I like I'm afraid of ladders and stuff now, but um zombies. I know they don't exist, but that is kinda creepy. And um being alone. Ooh. And I'm alone Ooh. a lot and I I, I live in my fear. You're gonna be a lot. alone driving home tonight. Um I mean like <laughs> <laughs> I mean like damn it might be a zombie apocalypse I might be alone and I might be on a high bridge going oh, back no. to Pueblo goodness yeah. <laughs> it all might happen at one time <laughs> I hope not but no how do those fears like plant uh, you making music being alone do you um a lot of my songs talk about loneliness and stuff like that mm. and um um my next album is going to be like a soft rock soft soft rock album I've been working on and there's a lot of songs on there that talk about loneliness so mm -hmm. do you think on the other side of it you worked through something do you feel better or do you think that that's still i'm still feels alone i'm still single yeah i'm still lonely yeah so if you're watching this what's up my number Slide is 719 i'm second just playing <laughs> but, <laughs> no you, ashlyn what's uh how do you get around making music with your fears and you know being afraid of pe how people perceive you i'm sure mm -hmm. is one of them too i think Writing songs, I definitely only, well, only is a, a very intense word, but more often than not, I write songs when I'm feeling like some emotion pretty deeply. Mm -hmm. I can't just write them every day. Like some people are really good at that. Um, I think often I write about, loneliness is pretty easy to write about yeah. because it's a feeling that's not super hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, I think I also really love to to play into silly songs, just very lighthearted songs that make you laugh because I don't think that there's enough of those out there. And mm. so a lot of the time I'm like, what's something really weird that everyone relates with but nobody really wants to talk about? Mm. Um, so most of the time I, I try to rhyme because I think rhyming is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, other than that. I love sure. it. So on the subject of fears and kind of that alleyway, what is the worst thing that's ever happened at one of your shows? Oh, let me tell you. It's funny because we were performing <laughs> oh, okay. together and um, oh, I was, so this was yeah, the same yeah show. we were performing together. Okay. We were um, at Blowback Gallery 
and um dropping names over here i was doing amy winehouse <laughs> and i forgot the words oh. <laughs> and i just quit the song like okay we're not doing amy tonight for that that was horrible yeah, that was <laughs> that's a fear forgetting the words that's why i usually do originals because mm -hmm. if i do a cover i'm like what if i forget the words yeah mm -hmm. and yeah that happened <laughs> i love that you were just like we're not finishing this. yeah i was like we're not gonna do amy tonight <laughs> sorry that. yeah that was pretty bad yeah. <laughs> Classic, classic Amy though she wouldn't finish a song either yeah. yeah I was like yeah but even on the same note and that same show I remember I played one of the newer songs that I had wrote and I hadn't played it in front of anyone before and I just remembered right when I started playing it I just blinked and I was like I wrote this song and I still can't remember how to play it and I remember I was so stressed out Oh, <laughs> is that probably what your worst of the shows have been or probably think, yeah but it was the fun. one I think about the most yeah that was a fun night though it was really fun. What mm -hmm. makes you bounce back after a bad night or a bad uh, experience? Just knowing that I'm that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are, Morgan. Knowing that I can fall from the sky and make it look good. That's so right. Funny. That is right. <laughs> I love it. Well, and I'm sure part of it is just having those experiences, right? Like yeah. you're not going to go through a career without having, forgetting the words. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it shows you humanity, which is what a, what a lot of people want to see they want to see somebody who's relatable and mm -hmm. someone who's who's like them and so i think playing into your weaknesses and playing into being awkward and saying the wrong words and having silence and stuff i think that really relates to people and makes them feel at ease have that connection mm -hmm. like there was a time another fear that i have about performing is like a like a wardrobe malfunction mm -hmm. i don't want that to happen very yeah. Janet Jackson. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> like what? to happen. What was like your worst case scenario? Like your your shirt comes off? My shirt, my pants, something falls off. Do you something. ever have dreams like that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why it's a fear it plays into my head. Like, okay, this might happen because it's happened in a dream, but I make sure that I'm suited and booted when I go on there. So. Suited and booted. <laughs> booted. <laughs> wow, I like that. Yeah. Um, do you have any dreams or anything that inspires you guys to make music, you know, outside of being nude on stage? <laughs> what inspires me to make music is everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, the performing piece of it, performing for people I really like. I really think that being a live performer is what pushes me to go out and just go. Just seeing like the reaction of people when I perform, it's kind of like theatrical, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, there's a there's a, a middle school that I perform here in town called PAA, Pebbles Art, Account Pebbles Art Academy, Academy, I think that's what it's called. And um, those kids, when I perform for them, they're, they're really honest. So they'll tell you they like, are. look, you you did it horrible, or you, <laughs> or you did, and, they, and I've grown to um, just give them my all on stage. And they're like, wow, that's awesome. And they look up to me, so that mm -hmm. means a lot to me, you know what I mean, so. Yeah. Wow. Shout out to kids. The kids are always inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Can what you ask the question again? I what inspires you? What, 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 okay. What, that's, what that's do you what dream I thought, of? But as soon as you asked me, I was like, No, we're on no. a journey together. <laughs> um, I think my emotions inspire me a lot because I think that writing helps me process everything that's going on in my brain because I'm not great at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it kind of forces me to put how I'm feeling into words and words that like make sense as well as I think it's really cool to make people feel something. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a lot of friends who have just told me like, Hey, you wrote exactly how I was feeling and I couldn't put it into words. And that was really warming to me because I couldn't even put it into words at mm -hmm. first. And then once, once I sat down and was like, okay, this is how I feel. It was really beautiful to see that other people also felt that way. Yeah, that connection. You know, I hope that we're not performing at the same time because I'm going to go watch her perform. Yes. Yeah, she's really dope. Yeah. Like, why is Morgan leaving halfway through his set? He's going to go. He's <laughs> over there bringing down the house. Is there a place in town for each of you that you go and work on music? Is there like a favorite spot, favorite coffee shop? Where do you like to go? Um, Working on myself, like I was definitely given a, um, a space to grow in analog. Um, Downtown Pueblo, Mike. Our cop, he let me just be myself in there and perform. And I did so many performances there. He's even produced a vinyl for me. And um, do you I, like hang out and write music at the coffee shop too? No, no, no you no. just go pop in and just sing. Just pop in and sing when <laughs> he it. when it's time to sing. But my safe spot is like at home. That's yeah. where I can be myself or in the studio or something. So yeah, 
I love it. Yeah. I agree with Morgan. Mine mine is also at home. I feel like I can just go downstairs and be by myself and I'm like, ah, perfect. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's how the creatives are, though, sometimes. <laughs> like, I need my own space. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like that. Um, what's what's a few sentences that you wish you could tell your younger self, and uh, where can the people follow your journey? Um, you can follow my journey at, at Morgan J. Cox Music on Instagram, and I will tell my younger self, um, just keep going because you can meet some cool people that will help you on your journey mm-hmm. in Pueblo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I would tell myself that everything is hard, so why is this different? And you guys can follow my journey on Instagram um, under Shlyn Young, so S-H-L-Y-N-N-Y-O-U-N-G. Love it. And last question, what is a hidden gem in Pueblo? So for everybody coming in for the Mm -hmm. showcase, what do you think they should check out that's a little bit unknown, underrated? Um. I really like the Nature Center. They have like some owls there and they, they look really, really cool. I think that's kind of a hidden gem because you can't really get close up on an owl like on an everyday life mm-hmm. thing. So you can go get close up on them and they'll look at you like, Ooh. And then, <laughs> so what's up? <laughs> that's a hidden gem. True. Love that. Yeah, love it. I would say, well, there's a lot of really cool coffee shops around here that are so warm and cozy. Um, but my first thought was, the the Pueblo Levy murals. Yes. Mm. Um, it's along the Arkansas River, and it is just gorgeous. Mm. Check it out. Please don't sure. check them out. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're here with Morgan and Ashlyn. Thank you guys so much for your time. Bye. I'm Derek with Dead Hand. All right, y'all. Peace. Bada bing, bada boom. Bye. Thank you both so much. Yeah.